What is going on, people? It's your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We're against K-Bombs, who is bringing a pretty, almost standard OU team with Togekiss, Ferrothorn, Cinderace, and I think Gyarados. But overall, pretty good matchup for our team. Uh, I am prepared for the Ferrothorn, if I'm being honest. If you guys missed the last team builder, make sure you guys go back and watch it, either before or after this video. Definitely up to you. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell for weekly Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. So looking at my... <clears throat> I don't know why my voice cracked right there. Anyways, uh, looking at my opponent's team here, I feel like he's going to start with the Cinderace. Yeah, Cinderace is, is going to be the Pokemon to start with. I'm going to go to Diggersby, given I don't have much to lose, whether or not he goes to Ferrothorn, or... Voltown might outspeed me. Ferrothorn, Togekiss, I should just click Done, and just start this battle. I'm going to get a drink of water right before this battle starts. And we got the best soundtrack in this game, in my opinion. Alright, K-Box, let's battle. May the best trainer win. Let me know in the comment section down below who the most valuable valuable Pokemon of this team is going to be. We got Tentatel. Tentantel versus Digger's Beam. The good news is that I got a Fire Punch for this thing. And to be honest, I'm just going to click Fire Punch. Oh, you're going to regret this. You may regret staying in, buddy. First KO of the day. I don't care if I take the Iron Barb damage from the Ferrothorn. First KO of the game goes to us. Really good start already. Really, really good start. Now, Pokemon that I am a little bit afraid of is going to be the Cinderace. It's going to be the... I think that's it, really. Ooh, Shiny Beware. A beautiful Shiny Pokemon. Probably gonna try to hit me with a Superpower or something like that. Um, ice punch maybe. I'm real. I'm gonna go Braviary here. I think he's gonna go for the fighting type move. I do resist fighting type with Braviary. And then I'm just gonna straight up play Brave Bird. Superpower. That's gonna hurt. They're probably choice banded. Defense goes down by one. Am I free to go for a Brave Bird here? I, I actually am, given that Ferrothorn's gone. I'm gonna click Brave Bird here. You can switch out. You can do whatever you want. Brave Bird is gonna hurt. And it's probably gonna knock me out, but that's okay. Bolt Sound, that's not gonna hurt it, actually. I shouldn't have, a part of me wanted to click the close combat. Brave Bird, I, I live. I don't think, yeah, he doesn't have any Stealth Rock users anymore. And this is a good chance for me to go I'm gonna go Bolt Switch. I know this thing gets Crunch, and I don't want to go into Bronzong and, and hit, take a Crunch. Braviary is still valuable to me. It's still valuable because I I do outspeed the I think Gyarados and I are, are a C tie. I outspeed the Togekiss. I kind of want to go to Raichu, but I don't know how I fully feel about it. He does have Ice Fang, so he might go for Ice Fang. He does get Ice Fang, I should say. But he also gets Fire Fang. This is tricky. Alright, go to Bronzong. I am level save. Not that it matters in this particular matchup. Crunch! That's a really good play by my opponent. That's a really, really good play. I'm gonna take the opportunity and just go ahead and click Reflect. Stealth Rock is worth it at this point. He's probably going to hit me with another Crunch and it's going to hurt. I hope he switches though. He disconnected. I was the best trainer of course. And that's enough of an excuse to do a second battle. So we'll go ahead and get to it. Welcome back! Ladies and gentlemen. It took me forever to find a Wi-Fi battle. I ran into people. They disconnected. Um, found a person who was using a Whimsicott and then... Just a Cottony. So it took me forever to find a good battle. I got Austin, who, using, who is using a Quagsire, Cooper Aja, Dragapult, 
the queen of OU, Clefairy, Tyranitar, and Rotom Heat. So basically OU, except for the Copperaja, and I think Quagsire is not OU anymore. But pretty good team overall. I think I am going to start with... I don't have Gyro Ball. I just realized that. I'm kind of scared of my opponent's team, to be honest. I'm going to start with Digger's B. And if I have to, I'm just going to U-turn. Because I, the, the reason I don't want to start with Raichu is because if he starts with Quagsire, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. I don't want to deal with Quagsire right now. I don't think I'm prepared to deal with Quagsire, quite frankly. My hair is, like, really messed up because of my headphones. I apologize. Okay, I think that's a little better. Yeah, that's a lot better. I need a haircut. I'm going to get a haircut Tuesday. All right. So... Austin is going to send out Clefable. I, I actually thought he was going to send out Clefable. That's why I went Diggersby. I don't think he has anything that's going to hurt Diggersby too, too much. I'm pretty much free to go for an Earthquake unless he goes Rotom, though. Um, what do I predict? Do I want to just straight up hit Earthquake? I think I want to do that. I'm going to straight up hit Earthquake. I'm not going to over predict quite yet and predict some kind of switch or anything like that. This is going to hurt like a bad chicken Clefable. That's huge damage. Stealth Rock. That's a good play by my opponent. I really don't think my opponent's going to stay in for another Earthquake, given that it did a whole lot of damage. He's probably going to want to go into Rotom, and I'm going to switch into... Do I want to do Golisopod? I kind of want to do Golisopod, but Rotom isn't going to be the best switch for that. Um... Liquidation is probably going to knock him out, though. He's probably going to emergency exit me, now that I think of it. Okay, so we're going to switch into Gillisopod. We're going to take a lot of damage because of the self rock. He's going to go Protect. That's perfectly fine, because I'm honestly just going to hit a Liquidation. I'm going to go to Liquidation. I don't think he's going to switch into Quagsire here. If he does, that's, that's going to be a really good play. I need some water in my life. What are you going to do, Austin? What are you going to do, Austin? I think his best play is, is, going to go, is going to be to go into Quagsire. I cannot talk for the life of me today. My throat kind of hurts. Been sick for a while. Got a hair in my, in my water. Withdraw. Watch the Quagsire come out. Copperaja is going to come out. I don't think it resists the liquidation. It might. No, it doesn't. Normal damage. That's 50%. I'm just going to stay and go for another liquidation. Copperaja is a really, really slow Pokemon. If he switches into Quagsire, no biggie. I'll switch into Bronzog and take the opportunity to just click on either Stealth Rock or Dynamaxing. Woo! That's interesting. That's really interesting. Dynamax or Gigantamax got for our job. That's good. This is the first time we've seen a copper on this channel. I still have speed. So I'm not I'm not scared of this thing. He's gonna emergency exit me out. I I'm living this. I shouldn't be able to live this, right? I'm living. I'm living pretty comfortably. Okay. My next move. What does Copperaja even carry? I don't. I don't think he's gonna be able to hurt my Bronzong as much. So I'm gonna take the opportunity to go into Bronzong and just straight up set up the the reflect. That's yeah. That's gonna be my play. I'm gonna go reflect here. You go ahead and recover. I'll recover also. What? Oh, I'm levitate. That tells my opponent I'm levitate. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna reflect. My opponent really can't touch me. I don't think Copper Jaw gets a fire type move. He might get a dark type move though with Brutal Swing. I feel like Copper Jaw would get a Brutal Swing, but why would you run Brutal Swing on this thing? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? He's carrying the fire type move. Wow! I, at least I live. At least there's that. I should be able to... 
Oh man, that's that's trouble. That's a lot of trouble. Reflect. You can recover. You can recover all you want. I'm gonna light screen. I don't think I need stealth rock in this battle. I know. Uh, you know what? He has the road on. I'm gonna live again though, and that's gonna be enough for my light screen. So set up the screen. And I'm just gonna let Bronzong go down here. I'm gonna go Stealth Rock just in case I do live anything, but I really don't see myself uh, taking a hit. This is a heavy metal set. Uh, this is a heavy metal cup, Rajah. Good. Okay. So now, I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna go into, hmm, Machamp. I think Machamp's the play. Yeah, Machamp is gonna be the play here. I'm gonna straight up click Cross Chop. Or do I want to, do I want to Dynamax yet? Is it, is it a good time for me to Dynamax? It might be. It might be. Let's see. I kind of want to go Max Hellstorm. Yeah, we're going to Dynamax go for a Max Hellstorm in case the Dragapult wants to come out. I know you're going to come out, Dragapult. I knew it. The good news is that I should be able to take any hit my, my opponent throws at me because of the screens. The bad news is that I'm not invested in speed, so Clefairy might outspeed me. Here comes my boy! Here comes my boy, the champ. It is gonna inflict hell. No biggie because the the grass search is still on the field. Dragapult gets knocked out. I, that means I can go for a fighting type move free of cost. It's a crit! I told you those those uh the scope lens were gonna do something. Started the hell. Dragapult goes down. That's a really good play by my end. Props to myself for that. Pop myself in the back a little bit. So no more surge. That means it's only ice now. We're gonna be pelt, uh, buffed, buffed, but buffed. buffed is the right word. Not, not pelt. <laughs> pelt I, is pelt even a word? Someone search that for me and let me know, please. What are you gonna do, Austin? If you DC here, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Okay, Quagsire. I'm okay with that because now I'm gonna go for a max T strike. This thing is probably ha running a. He probably has Skulls. That's a problem for us, of course. That still does some damage. Critical hit, or critical hit ratio goes up. Toxic. Imagine if I was Guts. Imagine if I was Guts. Okay. I think a Chi Max Strike is going to hurt. It's gonna knock this thing out. It's gonna do the trick. My opponent really doesn't have much to switch into at this point. So I'm going for a G Max T Strike. Knocks the Quagsire out. And now that means that every hit we're gonna attack or hit with is gonna be a critical hit, no matter what. Man, this is gonna be a Machap Sweep! The good news is the screens are still up. Gigantamax Machamp is one of my favorite Pokemon. One of my favorite Gigantamax Pokemon out there right now. So here comes the Clefable. I'm not afraid of this thing. I know it's a fairy type. But I'm gonna hit it with a Stone Edge. Protect. That's not bad because you're just gonna stall out my my screens. And I'm gonna get damage with the with the toxic. Buffed by the hell. That pretty much negates the leftovers, the hell. Oh no, it's it's magic guard. Okay, so this next attack might knock me out. I'm still going Stone Edge. I'm still going Stone Edge. Moonblast, this is gonna hurt. I'm sure I'll live. I'm sure I'll live. 
I'm living it. And my special attack goes down. Not that it matters. My opponent needs a break from all these crits that he's taking to the face. That's another critical hit. Machap is going to go down here. Not because of the L, but because of the poison. Now he still has Rodom. He, has, he still has Copper as well. And I think that's it. My Reflect goes off. No, no biggie there. Still has a Rotom. I want to go Raichu here. But because if he goes to Rotom, Tyranitar. That's not bad. I'm carrying Focus Blast on my Raichu. And it's Specs. The only thing I'm a little bit nervous of is hitting a Focus Blast, to be honest. I think we can, though. Raichu, if you love me, please. I evolved you from a Pichu, so you better love me. Okay. I thought it was going to miss for a second. It doesn't. It's still going to hurt. It still hurt. It hurt. It hurt the heck out of my opponent. That would have knocked him out. Miss? Raichu! My boy! I love you. I love you. If we had another Focus Blast here, the Tyranitar is going down. Tyranitar is going down. <clears throat> Alright, right. Take this. Take this. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Wow, this battle. This battle's great. I'm going to the Lissapod here. I know the rocks are up. I know he has a Rodom in the back. Quagsire is gone. I'm honestly just going to click first impression. And it should... I think it should knock it out. Tyranitar is probably my opponent's win con. But I have a lot of Pokemon in the back ready for, to knock this thing out. First impression. Gonna knock him out. My battery is running low. Tyranitar goes down. Glissopod, you're a beast. If he goes Rodom, I'm just going to click Aqua Jet. That's going to be my final attack with this, uh, Glissopod. Emergency Exit can be a really useful ability, to be honest. Come to the, the, the Brotom. Brotom, the Rotom comes out. I'm going to go Aqua Jet here. I'm not going down with that fight. Aqua Jet. Half damage, which is good. Bolt switch, pretty good play by my opponent, though now I'm going to have the switch priority. Well, if my opponent can switch first, I'm going to have switch advantage, is what I want to say. What are you going to do, Austin? I love this battle. This is a really good battle. I think it will be better than the one with the Bolt Town. How far is off? Versus Braviary. And honestly, I'm running close combat on Braviary, so it might not knock, knock everything out at this point. Alright, so let's see here. Yeah, just two Pokemon versus two Pokemon at this point. Close combat, Braviary. I know you outspeed this Copper Aja, and I think you outspeed the Rotom. That's gonna hurt. Minus one in defense and special defense. I will take that all day. Side from some sides. I should bring my map over here. So I can just click stop recording here shortly. Here comes the Brotom. And I'm just going to close combat here. We're taking the W, boys! This team actually works! That's a good battle right there. Good job, Boston. Good job, Boston, Texas. I love that battle. That was a really, really good battle. I couldn't have, I couldn't have asked for a better first battle, to be honest. Kind of glad the first person DC'd. That is going to be it for this video today. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this battle as much as I did, or if you just smiled during the video. Make sure you guys comment down below on who the MVP of this Pokemon battle was. And subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell. I will see you guys next time.